Hello, I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer with ReadTheStars.com. This is your weekly horoscopes at work forecast for May 9th through 15th, 2016. Two big events this week. The first one is going to be Jupiter coming out of its retrograde period, which began in January of this year. All of those opportunities that you've been mulling over, you'll be able to make a decision on them now and go forward with your plans. So um, be on the lookout for that and be ready and open to make a move now. It's it's time. It's time. Even those of you who are a little bit slow to action, I think that this is going to give you that push that you need. The other thing we have happening on Monday is going to be a transit of Mercury. And you're going to hear about this probably even in the news on TV and, you know, on internet and all that. And um, this is an astronomical event where the planet Mercury, which is in retrograde, as many of us realize at the moment, is um, going to be visible on the surface of the sun because it's going to be moving between the earth and the sun. This is a rare event, so people are going to be watching it very closely. What does it mean for us? That there's going to be an alignment with Mercury, and, and Monday is going to be very much a Mercury day. So because Mercury is in retrograde, I expect plenty of Mercury retrograde foibles to be going on, but I also expect people to be able to uh, communicate in clear ways, and if you're doing any writing, this is a great day to sit down, just carve out some time and do some writing, okay? So let's start going through here day by day, talking mostly about the moon and throwing in some other events that are occurring in addition to the things I just told you about. On Monday, we have a moon in Gemini. Great for communicating, except for one thing. The uh, moon is going to be void, of course, from 12.15 a.m. until 1.24 p.m. Eastern Time. So this, um, when I say void, of course, moon, it means the moon is not making any contact with the other planets, and it makes it difficult for us to make our contacts. So the things that we plan do not always turn out the way that we hope. So be very careful, especially during the Mercury retrograde, about scheduling anything that's too, too important on Monday morning for one, and then we'll go there a couple of other periods this week as well. At 1.24 p.m., the moon so swirls its way into Cancer. Don't ask me what swoes is. It just came out. But anyway, um, when, it, when the moon is in cancer, people become much more nurturing, and they also have a desire to be nurtured. So guess what? If you're doing anything business-wise, especially if it's sales-oriented or you have to sell an idea, for example, you're going to want to do this by working with people's emotions and making them feel emotionally happy and, and satisfied by getting what they want uh, as a result of what you have to present to them. So there's also on Monday a Venus and um, Neptune kind of sextal. It's a, a cooperation between the two planets. So people will be very open to hearing ideas that make dreams come true. So go for that. All right, Tuesday, Moon and Cancer continues, and we have Venus in a trine to Jupiter. This is a big deal for relationships. If you have anything that you need to reconcile or even initiate on Tuesday, this is a great day for it. Um, even with Mercury retrograde, you know, you just have to like work around that and understand that that's what's going on, that this is something from the past that needs to be figured out. On Wednesday, we have that void, of course, Moon and Mercury retrograde at the same time effect for most of the day from 3.34 a.m. until 3, or I'm sorry, 5.32 p.m. on Wednesday. So you're going to have to be careful all day Wednesday that you don't make too many mistakes. On Thursday, the moon goes into Leo at 5.32 p.m. on Wednesday evening. And so on Thursday, we have that brave and magnanimous Leo moon. And so this is great for making presentations. It's also great for anything where you have to show courage. We're going to have Mercury trine Pluto very late Thursday night, and uh, this is great for mental activity. So if you're in the midst of making one of those decisions we referred to on Monday, on, on Monday's forecast, then this would be a great day to say yes, no. Okay, so that's uh, Friday, Thursday on Friday the 13th. Do, 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 do. Hey, guess who was born on a Friday the 13th? Um, anybody else out there? It's, it's an interesting thing. Everybody kind of goes, whoa. Um, but since I turned out to be what I am in, in life, I guess it's, it's okay. I think that everybody uh, should just chill about Friday the 13th. There's really nothing that crazy about it, but it's worth remarking. And um, we will have the moon going void, of course, again at 1.02 p.m. Get everything done that you need to get done for the end of the week by that time, okay? We're also going to have Venus and Mercury together at 3.11 p.m. and Venus trying Pluto. This is not great for relationships. This can cause some very deep emotional misunderstandings. It can also cause triangles, flirtations that turn out to be like major fights because people are not going to be able to um, contain their ideas as to who should be with whom at what time. 
etc. Um, on Saturday, very early in the morning, the moon will move into Virgo. This is going to be a great day for anything that you organize and anything that you need to analyze as well. Whether or not you're working, you're also going to be able to just see things, how they need to be done and have the wherewithal to get them done in practical ways and organize your time according to your needs. So that's a really good day on Saturday and it can also be a fun day. Moon and Virgo can also be very fun, uh, especially if you just want to get a lot done in one day. Visit with three or four people. Go ahead. You can do it all on Saturday. Sunday, Moon and Virgo continues and makes a, Moon's going to make a lot of interesting connections with the other planets. It's... um opposite Neptune and conjunct Jupiter and square to Saturn and trying to Mercury and trying to Pluto and trying to Venus. And this is all like, you know, you're just going to feel a lot of that Virgo energy. Um, and it's sort of a dichotomy because on one hand with the conjunction to Jupiter, it's going to go, yes, go. And then the square to Saturn is going to go, no, stop. So try to balance in between there and just move forward, but move carefully. And I think that's pretty much the theme for the whole week. We continue with Mercury Retrograde yet for a while longer. I will let you know when it's done. We will have the banner back out. But for now, we're still dealing with that. And if you need a reading, and I bet you do, you can come and see me. I will be this week at Journeys of Life in Pittsburgh between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock on Wednesday, May 11th, and then from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Sunday, May 15th. So you can call the store at 212-681-8755 for your appointment. Or you can contact me for any other kind of service you might need from transpersonal coaching and hypnotism to good old-fashioned astrology, Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.